Oh. Here's what South Park's awful episode. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, everyone. I am NecaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. And if you if you do enjoy my content, definitely like, subscribe, share. It, it, it's free. It only takes a second. Or setting um, your subscriptions as your YouTube homepage instead of recommendations. I do make videos every single day. Here's why I'm qualified to talk about this South Park episode. And believe me, it will not probably see any ad revenue because of the content matter. I am the B in LGBT. I can talk about these things, even though I get shamed for the community for, for not being 100% L or whatever. I don't care. It's not, it's not up to me. It's up to whoever I might be attracted to. Here's what South Park's awful episode of Trans Athletes gets wrong. Well, okay, Out Magazine. You know, and, and obviously we're not anti-trans athletes. Obviously South Park isn't. But South Park took a specific character. And what, what they did was they set up a circumstance that this specific character could be made fun of by... And if this person actually watched the episode, they would understand that. But clearly they didn't. Clearly they didn't even understand. Or they, or they got so offended halfway through, they turned it off. So let's see what they have to say. Because this isn't the first article that's floating around. I mean, this is going around in The Hollywood Reporter, etc., etc. South Park's creators are accused of transphobia. And this is, this is all the same, the same crap. Mocking a tra trans athletes. No, they're mocking one specific trans athlete that's specifically in this episode. That's a fictional character, right? It's a fictional character. And they're using that as an example to intelligently weigh two sides of an issue. Oh, and I'm going to get to what, what I think on this at the end here. So make sure you stay tuned for my opinion on this. In the latest episode of the still running cartoon South Park, the show picked up by Fox, uh, picked up Fox News talking point. Oh, shut up. See, they have to throw in this, that it's, you know, oh, I'm surprised they didn't throw in a, oh, alt-right folks, because that's what they usually, usually like to do in these sort of articles. And ran as far away as they could with them, which apparently isn't very far at all. The seventh episode of the definitely not asked for 23rd season of the show titled Board Girls features a trans woman in quotes because it's revealed that he's a man pretending to be a trans woman who looks and sounds like the late professional wrestler Macho Man Randy Savage. I've seen the episode. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's, it's a, all right, it's a mediocre episode. It's not their best. It's not their worst. It's not offensive though unless you are one of these pc babies that they talk about who just want to cry and whine about everything the trans woman in quotes in question heather swanson says she started identifying as a woman two weeks ago and subsequently enters a local strong woman tournament when asked why she looks and sounds the way she does heather says i'm not here to talk about my transition i'm here to kick some fucking ass well see i'm gonna i, I can't do the macho man voice or i would <laughs> After she deter dominates the competition, it's revealed that she's really a man, the ex-boyfriend of another weightlifter who pretended to be a woman in order to make his ex-girlfriend look bad. Okay, there's so much wrong here. First off, okay, first off, shut up. First off, it's one specific case, and if you can't understand that, then shut your goddamn mouth. Second off, Second off, you know what? We don't put Down syndrome kids or people pe people from the Special Olympics in uh, competing against regular able-bodied drug-free athletes in, in these Olympics, right? So do you think it's really, really fair to have somebody who, like they stated in this episode went through puberty as another gender. Now, these are the same people who are like, oh, Scarlett Johansson is, in, is only a woman, so she can't play a trans character. So, so you know what? Maybe, maybe you need to go, the, the people who write these articles, not you guys, you guys are smart. Maybe the people who get offended by these need to go to the Olympic board and petition for 
extra extra categories. So you can have men who identify as women, men who've transitioned into women, women who transitioned into men, women who identify. As, so you can separate and make it as fair as possible because at the end of the day, you're seeing a lot of people who don't know every little compound. And you're seeing a lot of people like me who are layman and are saying, yeah, but aren't you still genetically another gender? Aren't you still genetic? Like we, we know a little bit enough about DNA and we know that, oh yeah, they have the, the strict hormone testing. They have the, the, uh, the strict, etc. They, they go through all the numbers here. It's the latest possible depiction of transgender people. Okay. It's not a depiction of transgendered people. It's just making fun of one specific person. Are you saying you're all the same? Because if you're saying you're all the same, then then what about all these other people who are like, there's 47,000 different genders? You know, maybe we need a category for one of every one of those people if it's really that big of an issue for, for people to get all butthurt over. Because uh, seriously, that's what we need to do as a, as a way to, to kind of survive and live together is that, you know... Some people are going to go through some stuff in their head and some people aren't. This is this is the same argument I hear all the time where some men will not dr date women who used to be another gender. And I see that personally as no different than not wanting to date somebody who went through a hundred plastic surgeries or any other sort of thing where they're just not happy with who they were born as. And that is a huge issue that, that really does not deserve the istenphobe baby childlike name calling that a lot of us get, you know? And, and at the end of the day, that's all this is. That's all this is. This is just a bunch of people throwing temper tantrums because they don't understand satire. They don't understand these are fictional cartoons with fictional people that they're using as one specific example to make it the most entertaining and extreme way they can do it. And I applaud them for that. I don't see anything wrong with this. As somebody in the LGBT community, I don't like the group think that a lot of the community gets, and I, I don't have a problem with this. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video!